Nicola's about making everything better, and when everyone else is reacting, Nicola is leading, and everything about the tray is just better. Yeah, I mean, compare this to the diesels in Europe. Nicola needed a truck that could compete. We needed to make sure it had more horsepower and torque than the other diesels in Europe. Everyone would have laughed us out of Europe if we showed up to Europe without a truck that could beat the diesels. We need a thou we, we came with this powertrain, which is the same powertrain on the US truck. Per axle, there was 1,000 horsepower or 750 kilowatts. Two axles, that's 2,000 horsepower. Now, truckers will never need all that. They're only going to use it in certain times when you're going up, when you're already at speed going up hills or when you have a really heavy load. But we needed to make sure that we had a scalable platform. So, what we have is we have a truck in Europe that'll be coming into Europe with 1,000 horsepower. Enough torque to climb the steepest hills in Europe. A 500 to 1200 kilometer range. That's about 300 to 750 miles um, for those who uh, don't know the conversion of uh, kilometers. There will be 60 kilograms of hydrogen on board, so slightly less than our, our US version. You won't believe it, there's two beds in that truck. It is really incredible. For those who have never been to Europe, there's two beds in that truck. When we built this truck, we got rid of the two biggest problems on a diesel truck. We got rid of the diesel engine and we got rid of the transmission. The transmission goes right down the center of the truck. When we got rid of that, what it did is it opened it up to lower the, the, the rear bed by up to one to two feet. That's never been achieved before on a diesel truck. So what does this mean? That means that we were able to build something spectacular an area where the driver could be in the rear of the truck. Sit down, it's the only truck I know of in Europe with a full factory theater system built in. I'm not kidding. <laughs> the driver can sit down in the back, throw his feet up in a comfortable position while he's on the road. The screen drops down, blocks the windows, and he can watch any movie he wants on iTunes. As you know what, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and the powertrain of the truck, whether it's hydrogen, you can see some of the, uh, the powertrain of the truck, whether it's hydrogen or, um, or electric, is identical. It's only how you charge it. The hydrogen fuel cell charges the batteries or the grid charges the batteries. It's literally identical. So what we, going into Europe, we'll have essentially four options. You can order it with hydrogen as the hydrogen electric version. You can order it as a 500 kilowatt hour, you can order it as a 750 kilowatt hour, or you can order it as a 1000 kilowatt hour, which is a one megawatt hour battery pack. So now, when you go onto our website, there's just one option to pre-order right now, and that's ultimately, doesn't really matter, you'll be able to choose that later. But I wanted to quickly give you an update about what those options are, and that'll happen with the Nikola 2 also for the US version. The Nikola 2 will have the exact same powertrain, both hydrogen that you can order, or 500 kilowatt hour, 750 kilowatt hour, or 1,000 kilowatt hour. Once again, nothing different between the platforms. And we just, we just want to make no mistake with everybody. Emissions are the enemy. It's not about whether it's a battery or a hydrogen electric vehicle. It's about better fuel economy and a more efficient drivetrain than diesel or natural gas. Uh, the tray's design will allow it to idle and run with no emissions. Yeah, it's right. I mean, the hydro our hydrogen is created with zero emissions from beginning to end. So we only use wind, solar, or hydrogen, unless there's going to be a rare circumstance where it's not possible to even find it. From production to consumption, our fuel will be zero emission. We can do it now cheap because thank heavens to all the solar providers like Hanwha and others, they've been able to drive the price of solar panels so low now with such high quality that we can finally build enough hydrogen cheaply or charge enough batteries cheaply that we can finally beat diesel. Even in Europe or the US, it doesn't matter. You need to fill fast. You need 15 minutes to get going. But that's not, what, that's not the only thing that matters. It's one advantage of hydrogen, but what really matters is safety. The Nikola truck, whether it's the Nikola 2 or the tray, is the only truck that I know of with full redundancy. Redundant power steering, steering system, brake systems, 
We have electric motors and air disc brakes. Redundant controllers. This allows for the future implementation of level four and five. Nikola does not do all the autonomy on its own. There's 50 players out there that do autonomy. It's complicated. It's very easy to make a truck drive on its own. It's very nearly impossible to make a truck drive without ever hurting someone indefinitely. So what we did is we knew that we needed to make sure our truck was fully compliant with all autonomy hardware from the ground up. So every bit of hardware that needs to be on a truck for full level four and five autonomy will be on our trucks. And, and other autonomy providers can come in and provide that software to all of our customers. All this is controlled by an incredible digital cockpit. Think about a future in Europe where Nikola trays replace all diesels. Isn't that a beautiful future? Yeah. We should be able to uh, begin production in Europe in about 2023. Yeah, the production of our truck and our stations will all begin right around simultaneously around the time that we deliver the Nikola to about one year after. The Nikola tool will be coming to market in the, sometime in 2022. The Nikola tray will be coming to market about one year after that. Now, we'll have trials before that. That's a production um, rollout. The pricing on the Nikola tray will be very similar to the U.S., where it will be on par or cheaper than a diesel, which means you can drive it, and per mile or per kilometer, you'll pay less than you would for a diesel. That's an important thing, because if you don't provide something that is better than a diesel, cheaper than a diesel, no emissions, few people are willing to truly adopt it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Nikola tray, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing what other manufacturers have said was impossible to design. Ladies and gentlemen, the European Nikola tray.